hello all right in the past week video what we did was we basically uh, listed some random static team members then we added a, a form to help us remember that uh, the user stable and um, the project stable in the database has a many-to-many -many relationship which simply means that there is a, a middle table remember I told you in the beginning of the project there is a middle table that connects users to uh, project so inside a middle table is where we store all the uh, the users that belong to each table each project so let's look at it again so there's a project table and the project table contains the details of the project project title project description and then there is a users table that contains the details of the users email password and so on now we need to keep track of users that belong to a project all right that is a project team members to do that we need to create another table that we already have here we've created it in the beginning it's called project user table what it will contain is basically the user id the project id and maybe or probably just the time the user um, subscribed or the user was added all right so this just keeps a record of the user and the project they belong to the user and the project they belong to so that is how we will be able to add a user here so when we add a user's email here we are supposed to just quickly go to database fetch this user's id and with the id we are going to add the user to this project by just creating a record on this middle table this is the join table joining the project table and the user table right so to do that we'll first of all convert this to a form this is just an input field with a button let's convert it to a form and look at it an input field and the submit button so, so uh, what we're going to do is to look at a form we've created before. I'm lazy, so I'm just going to copy what we already had uh, in the past. Oh, what's wrong? So I'm just going to copy this out of awesome laziness. And um, now we have this. I'll put it on top of this input group. So there we go. okay so i'll just paste so now the id of this form is going to be um add user and then the route is going to this projects add user um let me just make everything small letter project add user and then it takes the project id we have not created this route so we're going to have error after this but we'll create it soon the method is post and uh, we are not hiding the form of course cool so we're going to close it close this form close it here so we've closed the form good so when someone clicks on this submit button um i think the type should be submit type submit all right so once someone clicks on add save submit i don't know what shortcut i pressed that just got my editor dismissed or disappeared so i'll sort it out so the next thing we have to do is to create this route so we'll go to our routes file we'll close the resources then go to routes go to web.php and we're going to add a route projects right here we're going to do uh, i'm duplicating this i used ctrl c ctrl v if you're using this editor i'm using to duplicate the line just to make things easy for me and then we're going to create add user and uh, it's going to be project id Oh, do we even do we even need a project ID? Okay, yeah, project ID, and uh, it's going to add go to add user um, method in the controller. So if we go to projects controller, we will create the add user method. So we'll go to projects controller HTTP uh, controller. We'll see projects controller. So we will create the add user method. So we will do public function add user 
so we are going to call this the add user method add to project so um before we stop this video i want to remind you what we have in the model if you go to model the models here go to projects model we'll see that we have a relationship projects has a many to many relationship with the user so um as you can see projects belongs to a user but then it has a many to many relationship with the user so i'll create the many to many relationship in the next video so that people can just um add projects to users all right thank you very much